Hi, George Bruno here, also known as the Sultan of Silver, and I want to talk to you about the lines on your beard. I'm using a male bearded mannequin head that I use when I teach shaving and beard trimming. The best place for a line is one or two fingers above the Adam's apple. That's certainly far up into my beard, but on the mannequin here, just picture the point between, uh, where the neck and the chin meet. At that point, you make a line straight across without chopping off the back corners. That's a very distinctly masculine part of a full beard is those back corners. Don't take them off. When you're looking straight on, the line should be straight across. Never follow the jawline up. We don't want to do that. We want a beard that's distinct, that's separate from the face. We don't want a face-shaped beard when it comes to a full beard, unless you're just doing the shadow beard for a few days, that type of thing. But as far as full beards are concerned, one or two fingers above the Adam's apple, straight across. Do not angle up towards the ear lobe. Okay? Your beard is meant to grow a little bit behind your ear lobe and then down. Okay? The other thing is the top line. A lot of guys do this thing where they will have this almost like laser line, like it was done with a Sharpie or something. I'm not into that. I think full beards should be natural. I think they look better the way mine is right now. I'm not saying be like me. But then again, I don't have hair growing up to my eye sockets either, and I've seen guys that have that. But when I trim a guy's hair, his beard, I don't usually do this line thing. See, like this right here. You see a lot of guys with that. I think it's very unnatural. And the sharper the line, the quicker it's going to grow out and just look really bad. So what I do is I, I do like little choppy strokes when I do that line. So when I'm shaving a line on a guy, I'm just kind of going like this. But I'm not lining him up perfectly like a laser. So I want to create as natural of a hairline as possible. So I hope that answers a lot of your questions. One or two fingers above the Adam's apple, straight across. Your beard will reveal to you the slope of how the top line should be trimmed. And believe me, if you just let it go, that's not a bad thing. It's how you take care of the beard and how you comb it and how you brush it. I like using a comb that has very long teeth. So I get a long stroke. It elongates the beard. Now, of course, my hair is very straight because when, I, when my hair turned white, it lost its curl. I used to have a very curly beard. Now I don't. So this is what you want to do right here. Straight across, one or two fingers above the Adam's apple. I hope that answers some questions. If you have any more questions, please uh, feel free to comment on the video below. Again, my name is George Bruno, also known as the Sultan of Silver. You can find me on Instagram at George A. Bruno, on Facebook as George Bruno Luxury Barber, and my website, georgebruno.com. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it.